Hello everyone, this is Enlightened Living with Truth and Oneness Discussions with the Scorpio and the Aquarius actually. So this is interesting. I want to make this, I want to talk about the cosmology a little bit. Last night was really interesting. Um, I, I think there was a, this is a new moon and also there was a solar eclipse or I don't know if that's happening today. I didn't look at the exact time, but definitely last night. There's quite a bit of energy in the air, and you can like feel it. I can, yeah. you can like feel it really um, intensely. I guess I don't know. Um, it's like this excitement, and like it's this windy outside, and like the rain that kept coming and going, and like it was like it's almost like the the air, like the energy is just like speaking directly to. You. I don't know really know how to explain it, but it's like yeah. really cool. Um, we pretty much live right out in nature, so we, when there's any kind of weather, we experience it, like, directly, almost, um, but it was really interesting last night, but anyway, what, do you have any thoughts on that? It definitely was pretty interesting, because it's like, um, we've had rain before, obviously, uh, and some, somehow, like, this rain was, like, getting in and like the smallest little crack too like that was so weird because it's like i felt we heard the wind we heard the rain and everything like that but it was like coming in and letting us know this was happening it wanted to show us let us know it's all good it's coming in things are changing i was like this is pretty interesting i wasn't we were like we we're like what the heck is going on like, this is so fascinating and like yeah there's definitely energy going around like it's it's potent it's strong and it's like and it makes you feel good yeah, it's like a an excitement, so, and uh, and I guess there's more of that the the remainder of this month. Um, so I guess people need to. I think the 21st is one of those big ones where if anyone's looked into it a little bit, and we talked about it a little bit. But there's a conjunction between what's it, Jupiter and Saturn. That's a yeah, less than one. Saturn. They're like right next to each other, and they're in the sign of Aquarius, and. I think that's just one of the alignments that is, that's going on that's allowing for a lot of this movement of energy and shifting and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we've got a cool rest of this month going on. I don't know how everyone else is doing, but uh, like I said, we're kind of out of the loop uh, about a lot of things. But <laughs> we try to stay in the loop a little bit, but it's uh, it's kind of, I guess, whatever. Um, I guess there's a lot of things going down in the political world which we already know obviously the truth will come uh the truth will come out some way or another and we know who the true winner is and i think eventually even if it takes a month or two or even longer i don't know that'll come to be shown um and there may be some struggle with that of that coming out obviously you know it doesn't take like a rocket science to like at this point if you kind of know what's going on you kind of expect you know you may see some things or there may be some things going on. but anyway basically real quick on that any any thoughts on that real quick <laughs> oh yeah it's it is something else and it's like even if they do try to get, trick people and they do believe someone else won like people should really pay attention if you're not paying attention to politics Talking or anything like that poly- yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you actually have to pay attention to like what happens afterwards like really start to pay attention like how they start put, moving people into different positions and doing things and causing changes all across the country because they're really going to be bumping things around either way but then the real stuff will start to take place Anyways, and then real quick <laughs> on the cosmology, we are talking about, yes, we're, quote, flat earthers, if you want to say that, or we are believe in the fixed stationary earth plane. And um, something just kind of, because I've always thought of it as that as well. And I remember when we first found out about the whole flat earth, you know, it was like, wow, so if that's how it is, then aliens don't exist and blah, 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 and whatever. And my ideas of it have evolved over time to now realizing, wait a minute, that doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't any other beings that exist besides us here on this plane. But it's evolved even more to, like, there's a whole lot more to this whole system that we're in than I think even the whole flat earth idea or the, you know, fixed stationary plane idea even 
can grasp really and i think a lot of it is because it's hard for me to really grasp it or it was i think it's getting easier but it's almost like everything that's in existence there's multiple dimensions here in the space that we're in you know what i mean like everything that is in existence is right here kind of like your human body everything that exists in your human body is in your body and you can change or shift it in any way you want but it exists it, it's in your body you does that make sense i don't yeah, think that made any sense. sense okay um i just saw a title for a video um i think it's a jessica del mar video that i think is talking about this very topic and i wanted to talk about this before i went and listened to that video i'm like oh i want to be because i've been wanting to talk about this for a while just bring it up that um, it's not just like, you know, the flat or stationary plane and this is, you know, this is how it's set up. This makes way more sense than the heliocentric model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's way, way more to it than that. Um, and like I was saying that, that literally, I think you don't have to go somewhere to go to another planet, basically. You know, you don't have to get it in some place and go to a different planet to, or like, um, even to go to like if you talk about like the fairy lands or like the mm. where fairies exist and like uh gnomes or whatever that exists in this space just in a different frequency or dimension or shift or um and if you want to call aliens or whatever which that's a whole nother thing too like what is it really what's an it's a basically just other Someone conscious beings in a different no it's different other conscious beings in different physical forms yeah. Uh, other higher conscious beings in different physical forms in the human form, right? But um yeah, it just gets real interesting and it's like, well, is this the cell a cell in a body, you know, this yeah. earth plane? It probably is. And is that how the setup is? But everything it's like the conscious part of the you know what I mean? The mm. the, the whatever. But you can talk a little bit. I I, I get what you're saying. It's um like we see the earth plane as like you know this is it but in reality it could very simply be like hey our earth plane that we know is just a single cell like on a, a massive body or frequency like there's so many different things but more than that i'm thinking yeah. like it's sure that but it's also but everything it's all right in here. existence it's everything in existence gotcha yeah that's pretty interesting cuz yeah i can see that for sure because think about it, when you keep saying, like, everything it exists in your own, you're re- you, make your, you make your reality, basically, your internal thoughts, and you manifest your reality into the physical world. Yeah. Um, and it just takes a shift in the frequency or, like, uh, your energy or whatever to shift into dimensions, different dimensions or a different, like, sort of, you know. Mm-hmm. I know there's, it's more complicated than this, but, like, from that perspective, it's like, okay, so if everything's here, then everything really is right here, mm-hmm. you know? Like, literally shifting to, I don't know. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're going on the right track. It's, like, it's hard to explain because there's a lot to unpack with that information. So it's, like, let it kind of sink in, everybody. It's, like, to, it's, like, but think about it it's like it might sound there might be something to you like what what i I knew this but i why didn't i know this kind of a thing kind of like the idea where we're saying what seems like you know the sun and when you look up in the sky it's like the sun for example or the moon it's like staring right at you like directly in your face you know what i mean yeah it's like but it's interesting because someone in like a thousand miles away or whatever are looking up at the sun and it looks like it's staring them in the face too or whatever you know yeah. like how is this the same these are like two completely different you know areas but they're probably getting kind of the same perspective of like it's like right there in front of me and i move it looks like it's almost like falling you know what i mean yeah, yeah. it's kind of um it's it's like everything is uh, in existence from our own perspective, but like they're real, but they're here in our world that we've created for ourselves. But eh, whatever. No, know. I I hear you. Okay. I hear, I I definitely hear you. It's just it's hard to explain. It's like we're trying to wrap our heads around like how to explain something that people don't explain yet. So it's like we we'll get there. We'll get there. It's like, but it's yeah, I can see that too. Yeah, 
It's very interesting. Um, but we're in exciting times here, everyone, and I hope everyone else is excited about these exciting times. And I think hopefully people are going to start realizing certain things like at least, you know, well, first, you know, there's a lot of things in politics and the world and the media that has not been true. That people have not yeah. been true for a very long time. And then, but also, maybe people will start gonna start understanding just like the nature, more of the true nature of even this uh, physical kind of physical looking world that we're in. Um, and how, yeah, it's uh, and then also the whole time thing too is like really interesting as well. It's almost like. So you can look in the past and like the sort of the future, but it's like, I don't know, something weird is really, ha something I can't really explain what weird is going on right now, but I guess I'll try to explain it later. I'll get it into words and I'll try to explain later. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. <laughs> all right, everybody.